Hi, my name is Erik Kerstrand, and this screencast will be about a, an Emacs package I wrote called OrgBrain. It is uh, about one year ago since I first released this package, and a lot has changed since, that, since then, so that's why I'm making a new screencast about it. So, uh, OrgBrain is inspired by a piece of software called The Brain. Uh, so, please check out that piece of software if you want to know more about how we can use it and things like this. And I try to mimic some of the stuff how it works and add some things and yeah, to make it more compatible with Emacs. So, but, but what it basically is, is uh, a way to connect files and headlines inside the org mode format in order to create kind of like a mind map and a wiki system. I think it's easier if I just show you. So what you're seeing right now is my org folder. And by default, when you start creating uh, files and entries and nodes inside of your uh, org brain, it will create a folder called brain inside of your uh, org mode uh, folder. So if I press, press uh, meta x and type org brain, you'll see that there's a lot of commands. And uh, the most common one being org brain visualize, which is used to uh, show you a zoomed in view of the mind map on a specific entry. Right now I do not have any entries, but I can create one by typing index, for instance. And you can see now that uh, the brain folder has already been created. And if I press return, we can see an empty mind map centered on the index entry. And if I go inside of my brain folder, you can see that index.org has been created. So what I can do from here is add children to this entry. I can press H in order to create a child as a headline entry. Uh, which is basically an entry which is an org mode headline inside of the file. So I want an entry called software and another entry called programming. Okay, and if I go now into my index.org file, you can see that we have the entries programming and software. Uh, all right, so if we go into uh, software, I want to add another child to this one as well. Now you can see that we have here the index, which is the parent to the software, and also programming is shown here, since that is a sibling of software. And what's a sibling? Well, that's the other children of the parents. Okay, so uh, I could now press H in order to create another headline entry to the software entry, but I could also press C which stands for child, in order to add either an existing entry or a new one, which will, which will be created as a new file. So if I type Emacs, then uh, I have created a new child called Emacs. And if I go back to the brain folder, you can see that there's another file here called Emacs. Okay, and I can go into this one and I can press H for headline and perhaps add one called Orgnol and another one called Emacs Lisp. Okay. Now I can press O for open in order to open this entry for editing. So here, here's what it looks like. You have some uh, information which is used by Orgbrain in order to uh, link the entries together. You can ignore them for now. Uh, what you can do is type information inside of uh, these entries and it will show up when you visualize them. So perhaps I can write org mode is my favorite feature inside, inside Emacs. So if I go back to the org brain visualize mode and press G for revert and revert the buffer, then we should see. Whoops, I was in the Emacs entry. If I go to the org mode entry instead, since that was the one that I edited, you can see that the text has been added. So you can 
read your entries from here, which is nice. If I go back and edit it, you can write uh, something like, perhaps I want to be able to read the manual. And so I write, you can learn more about org mode by reading the manual. And I want a link here. So I write info called org. And I can visit that just like default org mode links, of course. So if I want to read the manual. Uh, what's cool here is that if I revert the buffer, this is added as a link inside this headline called resources. So many times you perhaps have like files or web pages or something that is connected to a specific entry which you want to visit. So uh, what I do is I use OrgBrain as a bookmarking system. So I can press enter here and to, in order to read the manual. You can also do this, this for web pages and directly from uh, OrgBrain. So if I press L for link, then I can write https colon slash slash org and perhaps about tone page. And now this has been added as another resource, but it isn't available here in the entry text. That's because when you add resources this way, uh, they are added inside this drawer called resources. So they are still available inside of the org mode file. There's nothing magic going on here. Okay, another way of doing this, um, which is perhaps more common, is that you're already browsing the web. So uh, let's open up Firefox. And I'm here at the uh, Vorg homepage, which is the org mode community. And perhaps I want to link to this as a resource. So I copy the link and go back to Emacs and just paste this or jank it using uh, Control Y as usual. And this will insert the link and I can write the description for the org, the org mode unit. Okay. And this is added as a resource. So resources is a nice feature which I personally use a lot inside of OrgBrain. Uh, another thing which you can do when you edit the files directly is to use the OrgBrain sort of like a wiki system. So for instance, if I press D for visualize, which uses another entry to look at, and type uh, uh, programming. I'm visualizing the programming entry and now I press O for open so I can edit this one and add new information to it. So perhaps I write programming can be used in order to create software. Okay, and software. Instead of just typing it, I can uh, use a link by pressing Ctrl C, Ctrl L for org insert link. And uh, I choose the brain friend type for this. So you can add different kind of relationships. This is a new one which I haven't shown yet, it's called friend. So if I press complete now, in order to complete, I can choose a friend of this. So programming is somewhat related to software, but I wouldn't say that it's uh, software is a child of programming and it's not the parent of programming either. It's more like equals. So I add this as a friend. And I want the description to be software. So now I have added this as a link so I can uh, visit it, which isn't really useful right now, but anyway, I can do that if I have perhaps a friend or a parent or something in a different file. Um, and also, if I revert to buffer, you can see that this is added here, so you can watch friends like this. It's a sideways relationship. Um, another thing I can do is perhaps list programming languages. There are several different programming languages. For instance, 
and I can have another one, perhaps a brain child this time. And Emacs Lisp is a programming language, I should use that one. And I call it Emacs Lisp. Okay, perhaps I want another one. So let's do the same thing again. So brain child. And let's create one called Python. A small p is because I like having small letters inside of my file names. So now Python doesn't say sys, but it will be created as a new file. Okay. So now I have a child called Emacs Lisp and a child called Python. If I visit this, you will see that Emacs Lisp has two parents now. One called programming and one called Emacs. It's uh, kind of easy to get lost when uh, you do things like this, so perhaps entries that you want to visit regularly, you can add them as pinned entries. So index, for instance, which is kind of my hub for everything right now, if I press N, which isn't short for anything, but I was short, short on keys, um, you pin it. So now that is pinned, which you can see right here, that means when I navigate to other entries, we can always go back to, to index, which is nice. Okay. Uh, another kind of things you might want to do is to get a better overview of uh, your entire brain, or at least several different layers. So right now I can all only see the children of an entry and the parents, and index doesn't have any parents. But if I press M, you change to mind map view. Uh, and in this view, you can, right now, you can see the children. And if I press plus, you can also see grandchildren. And I can continue to press plus. Right now I don't have any more. But uh, this is kind of nice. You can also do this on on uh, other entries. So if I go to Emacs Lisp, for instance, which has two parents, Emacs and programming, instead of pr pressing plus, you can press C, Z, uh, Z for zoom, and now it will zoom out. So you can see here that it has a, a parent called Emacs, which has a parent called Software, which has a parent called Index. And it has another parent called Programming, which has a parent called Index. Okay, so these are basically the features of uh, WorkBrain. I hope you have enjoyed this uh, introduction, and you can learn more on the WorkBrain GitHub page, and also get in contact with something doesn't work or whatever, if you have suggestions that could be added. And uh, I hope you enjoy this piece of software. Please tell me if you like it. Thank you very much.